Howdy folks, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. What we're going to do today is we're going to apply a rapid set. It's a one coat product, but when I say one coat, that means you can do both coats the same day. There's, uh, there's rapid set, there's Uno, there's about 20 different products in the last 15, 20 years. They're not new, they've been around forever. What we're going to do here is this fella here, Tom Carroll, Carroll Construction, I've done many, many projects for Tom Carroll. His guys laughed at this, and they did a great job. They, the wire's correct, the caulking is correct, everything looks real good. We're going to set this with the staging, and what we're going to do is we're going to scratch it. Say, like, generally, if you do a traditional stucco, you scratch the whole thing. We'll put some corners here. Uh, you scratch the whole thing, and then you come back 48 hours later, or two days later, and you do your brown coat. On this, we're going to scrap. Um, I'm going to uh, put my first coat on, and then immediately while the staging is set, I'm going to put my second coat, float it all, drop down here, and do the same thing. Again, with these rapid set products, you do the scratch and the brown same day, but there's no such thing as one coat stucco that I'm aware of yet. And that's 26, 29 years of the business. There's no such thing as one coat. So I'll show you how we do this. All right, guys, we are ready to go. Um, I've already applied a little stucco over there. Usually what I'll do is I'll start from the, the bottom because when I'm on the ground, I know how far up I can reach. See this red tape? That's for you guys so you can see how far I'm going down. So if I can reach here comfortably from the ground, I'm going to take it down to about here. And this is just the first coat now. We're not doing um, it in traditional work. I'm going to put the first coat on right now. So I'm going to follow right back up after I, after I scratch this whole thing. And I'm going to come with the next coat because the paper is absorbing some of the moisture right out of here. Of course, you got to know what you're doing. If the, weather, if the weather's cold, then you have this different system. But right now, for the sake of what we're doing, I'll start from the bottom. That way, my next coat tops it and it doesn't just fall off. Okay guys, we're doing the second coat now. The thing to remember is, now see this cement here, this rapid set, it's quickly drying. So with the weather and the, the fact that the paper is drying out the coats as I put it on, the paper does suck all the moisture out of it, so it allows me to do my second coat. If it was 50 degrees or lower, I probably would drop down and finish everything, then reset back up and come up here, but I do have the luxury of putting my second coat on right now because it's already dry. Okay, and I'm hustling. Hustling to get this done here. So now, here's my second coat. And with this, this is a two coat system that was done about 70 years ago. So on my second coat, after it sets, then I'm gonna do the texture. There's not a three coat system out here. Okay guys, we've got the second coat on. I floated this. This is a skip trial finish right here. On this side here, this is the float finish. So I'm floating this side. And because we're doing the one coat system, you really got to hustle. I got Jason, he's spreading this out. Dan's helping. Uh, we're all working in harmony to get this thing done. When you do the one coat system, scratch and brown the same day, you will hustle. So if you're not certain about this, don't even try this. Go with conventional scratch and brown. Anyhow, we're going to tear this down. I'm going to get out of here, spread out all the rest of the cement because it's getting hard. We have only so long to apply this. All right, guys, what I'm doing now that this base coat is set enough is I'm giving it the same skip trial finish that we've had everywhere else. Where this wannabe Tudor piece of wood was, I'm just taking my float going straight up and I float it with a hard rubber float to indent it. So it looks as if it's made of wood, but it's really not. It's just a piece of stucco. But I'm giving it the same look they have. So here we go, I'm texturing it here, coming down. Then I'm gonna get off this ladder and texture the rest of this. All right guys, we're dropping down now and I'm just doing the texture here. This is kind of easy uh, texture. Of course, gotta know how to texture. I know how to texture real well, so it's all easy for me. Now Dan got the hard job. He's gotta clean up my mess. You could have that job. Anyway, we're about to be done in about another half hour. I'll have this textured out and then I'll show you the final conclusion. 
Okay, folks, we're all set here. Um, we were hustling, but we got it done. Here's the texture on this side. And the homeowner uh, just come out and say, Kirk, can you put a little texture on this crack wall while I'm here? I said, the fellows who did this work before us, they put texture over it. And it doesn't work when you do texture over a crack because when the wall still moves, it'll crack right out. More flex is what I'm going to put in there. It's got a little bit of uh, sand in here. So I'll put the caulking in here. That way, if that brick chimney moves again, it'll flex with it. On this side here, this is a float finish. Uh, we got a texture on this side, got a float here. Sometimes we come to houses that have a little everything. And we have another one of those little imitation um, wood bands here. It's called Tudor style. So I just went ahead and uh, gouged it out a little bit so it'll make it look like when they paint this that it's actually wood, but it's stuck. Anyway, folks, uh, my name's Kirk. I'm with Kirk Jodonald Plastering. Thank you, folks, for watching. Hope you learned something. We'll see you guys on the next one as usual.